do new humanoid videos just took over the internet, and honestly, it's not hard to see why. Tesla's Optimus is finally moving like it means it, flowing through kung fu sequences with balance we've never seen before. And on the other side, Unitree's G1 is taking hits, rolling with the impact, and getting back up like it's built to fight gravity. Both clips went viral for a reason. In this breakdown, we're putting them side by side. What's real, what's marketing, and who's actually ahead right now. By the end, I'll give you my verdict, but it's up to you to decide who really wins. So let's break it down. Let's start with Tesla. The latest Optimus demo looked far smoother than anything we've seen before. The robot mirrored a human partner, slipped into stance, and started blocking attacks with impressive balance and timing. No jerky movements, no obvious cuts. The coordination between its arms and legs felt more natural, as if the robot was actually understanding rhythm and force rather than just following a choreographed routine. And here's the key, this wasn't remote control. The whole sequence ran on Tesla's onboard AI. Every motion came from what the robot saw and felt through its sensors. It was reacting in real time, not replaying a pre-coded animation. That's a massive leap because it means Optimus is learning from physical movement the same way Tesla's cars learn from the road. The transitions were still deliberate and the hands didn't do much. Tesla hasn't shown the promised 22 degrees of finger movement yet, but the improvement in body control was obvious. Optimus is starting to move like it understands its own weight. Now compare that to Unitree's approach. While Tesla focused on elegance, Unitree went full combat mode. The G1 video wasn't a dance, it was a durability test. Engineers shoved the robot from every angle, kicked it hard, even knocked it flat, and every single time, it recovered. They called it anti-gravity mode. It's not literal, of course, but it showed how effectively the G1 anticipates impact and reacts before it even hits the ground. This robot's body is loaded with sensors, LiDAR, depth cameras, and torque feedback across its joints, all feeding a control system that predicts how to brace when something goes wrong. So instead of freezing up, G1 adjusts its knees, shifts weight, and rolls out of the fall almost like a human athlete. That's not just a cool stunt, it's what makes a humanoid practical. Robots in real-world environments fail because of balance, not because of weak AI. A single fall can break hardware or require human help. G1's ability to self-correct within seconds makes it a serious contender for commercial use, and with a price tag near $16,000, research labs and startups can actually afford it. Tesla, meanwhile, has a bigger vision. Elon Musk wants thousands of Optimus units working inside Tesla factories by the end of 2025. The plan is to produce around 5,000 robots this year for internal testing, then ramp up to tens of thousands once the production line matures. If even part of that timeline holds, Tesla could drive costs down quickly, just like it did with electric cars. But humanoids aren't cars. You can't scale dexterity or safety overnight. Optimus is evolving fast, but it's still a lab project. Stable, impressive, yet far from production floors. Unitree may not have Tesla's global infrastructure, but it has real-world field experience. Its robotic dogs already operate in defense, inspection, and research across dozens of countries. That kind of feedback loop, test, fail, fix, repeat, is how the G1 became so rugged. The company designs for failure, then hardens its robots until they survive it. However, there's one red flag. Earlier this year, cybersecurity researchers discovered a critical Bluetooth flaw in Unitree robots that allowed hackers to gain full control, even spreading malware to other robots nearby. On top of that, telemetry logs show G1 units sending data back to Chinese servers every few minutes. Unitree said it's working on updates and promised stronger protections, but it definitely raised eyebrows about privacy and security. That's the paradox of modern robotics. Once a robot can walk, see, and connect to Wi-Fi, it's not just a machine anymore. It's an intelligent networked system, and that means it needs cybersecurity as much as physical strength. Still, if we judge by performance, G1 currently looks tougher. The way it handles impact and recovers on its own shows maturity and physical control. Optimus may be smarter, but it's not yet built for punishment. G1 looks ready to get dirty in the real world. And this isn't just a duel between two companies. It's a snapshot of a global race. 
Tesla represents the American model, closed, vertically integrated, powered by a unified AI backbone. Unitree represents the Chinese model, fast, open, cost-driven, and ready to iterate in public. One focuses on polish, the other on speed. One grows through refinement, the other through chaos. And now even bigger players are joining in. Meta is building Metabot, an open AI system meant to become the universal brain for any humanoid. Amazon's Frontier AI division is developing Omni Retarget, software that lets robots copy human motion just from a few videos. No manual coding required. They even trained a G1 to do parkour and carry boxes across rough ground by simply watching people do it. That's why Unitree's hardware is becoming a favorite among labs. It's cheap, durable, and flexible enough for experimentation. Tesla, though, has the data advantage. Optimus runs on the same AI infrastructure as Tesla's autonomous cars, the same neural networks that process camera feeds, predict motion, and adapt through reinforcement learning. That integration could give Tesla an unmatched edge once everything connects. Imagine factory robots learning from the same data that trains millions of vehicles on the road. But that tight ecosystem could also be Tesla's bottleneck. Unitree's open platform lets outside developers build directly on its hardware, turning G1 into a shared foundation for innovation. Amazon, Meta, and several research labs are already doing it. Tesla wants to own the stack. Unitree wants to be the stack. Two completely different philosophies, both powerful. The next milestone for both companies will be dexterity. Walking is one thing, working with human tools is another. Neither robot has yet shown smooth AI-driven grasping of cables, irregular parts, or delicate components. The first one to nail that will instantly jump ahead in usefulness. For now, Tesla's goal is inward, automate its own production lines before selling robots externally. That keeps Tesla private and controlled. Unitree's goal is broader, sell to anyone and learn by doing. That high volume, fast feedback approach is the same one that made China dominate the drone market 10 years ago. Technically, both are strong in their own ways. Optimus is developing intelligence, learning to coordinate and plan actions without direct control. G1 is mastering resilience, reacting, recovering, and surviving real world chaos. One is chasing perfection, the other is built to endure imperfection, and in practice, endurance tends to win early. G1 already feels like a product. It's rough, sometimes unstable, but alive. Optimus still feels like a prototype, refined, controlled, and full of promise. In the long run, Tesla's AI infrastructure might transform robotics entirely, but right now, Unitree's simplicity, affordability, and toughness make it more adaptable. Zoom out, and it's clear. The United States is building smarter robots while China is building more of them. Tesla is teaching machines to think before they move. Unitree is teaching them to survive whatever happens after they move. It's intelligence versus instinct, design versus durability. And while elegance might win in the long game, resilience always takes the first round. My personal verdict? G1 looks stronger today. It's cheaper, tougher, and already tested in the wild. Optimus will catch up, maybe even surpass it. But for now, the robot that gets knocked down and stands back up wins the round. Because progress doesn't always look polished. Sometimes it looks like a robot taking a hit and refusing to stay down. Thanks for watching. Share your thoughts below. Hit like if you enjoyed this breakdown and catch you in the next one.